Hey guys, Brett here. Welcome back to iRacing. Here on the UMP Modified. Once again, this time we're at USA International Speedway, the number five race on Oz Fear the Rue Modified. Starting in seventh spot. So it didn't qualify great, but not too bad either, I suppose. So Brian Creation's on pole with a 22.9. Danny Guy in the 22s. Terry Wolf in the second. First of the 23 flats. Brad Moore. Then you got RJ Stroman. Tony Gwalder. Tommy Ducha. Dutcher. Myself in seventh. Dana DeBell, 8th, Jeffrey Barker, 9th, Paul Smith, 10th, William Dahl, 11th, Ronnie Wayne Scott, 12th, Zane Yost, 13th, Corbin Levy, 14th, and Colby Fett in 15th. So top 7, it's aimed for a top 5, that's what I always aim for every race. The other number 5 car, so anything above 5th spot, you should gain high rating, I hope. I've probably lost 1,500, maybe 2,000 high rating. Um, last season and start of this season so yeah it's a bit tough to gain high rating in these things i think i should be at a half decent level now my high rating like i'm not the best oval racer so it's not the best dirt racer so i rating about three thousand is probably where i'm at i think i think it was up to about four and a half thousand that was with a lot of um, week 13 legend stuff and a lot of wins in that not last week 13 but the week 13 before so but 35 laps here getting ready to go green all right here we go man going green now just noticed my um, wheel down the bottom left on the screen is actually going into the relative screen so i'll have to move that next cautions i guess get ready to go green, we're green, off green. Bouncy there, getting out of two. I'm not sure what's the fastest line, the high line faster or the low line faster, I don't really know to be honest. to see them on the entry to the corner with all this dust and stuff getting thrown up in turn one. 23 sixes.
around some of these cars getting out of the corners. Done a lot of work with the um, track state in the last season, so it's a lot different than you would have noticed if you watched my videos from last season. just behind us. Two seconds to Tommy ahead. No caution yet, which is a surprise. Might not get one this race. Oh, it's on the 10 car behind us. Just loud into the wall in the middle of three and four. Try the low line in one and two, high line in three and four, so we can do I think. Hard to see the entry of the corner with all the cars ahead. Oh, so we're going to plow that inside wall. It's turned in way too early, expected to slide a little bit more than it did. Try that again, see if we can actually get the better turn in this time. Slide up, try and grab some grip on exit. I don't think that's any quicker to be honest. The truck's starting to get really slick everywhere, but. Makes it interesting racing, but. Moments so we've got no one to battle with, but it's a wall again. Right, sort of sucked me into the wall then. Definitely catch it. Point 
Time to talk about the new sponsor for the team. You might see the new overlay above and the old overlay again back down the bottom. So I've changed things up yet again. Um, Race on Oz is now sponsored by Trackstar Racewear. So head on over to their website, trackstar.com.au, check out the stuff they've got available at the moment. There's a lot more stuff coming. There's not much on the website at the moment, but I said there's going to be heaps more coming. So And also head on over and find their Facebook page. Smash that like button for them and um, just keep up to date with what's going on on their Facebook. Get through all these guys now. We're in fifth spot at the moment, so that's our target. A couple of guys must have had a bit of damage in an incident or something. So, yeah, as I said, trackstar.com.au, a new sponsor for Race on Oz, Trackstar Racewear. Haven't got modified paint for Trackstar just yet, but we do have our 410 sprint car paint which you would have seen if you watched our 410 Grand Slam video which should be uploaded before this which it would definitely will be so that was actually a very long video but if you want to just watch me in the A main maybe uh, skip through to about right, so an hour mark I think um, I won't spoil where I started and finished but um, yeah, it was a very good race put it that way 410's at linear speedway Right, we're going to go green, five lap dash here. There's a few. Wow, okay, there's, there's only five of us on the lead lap at the moment. So definitely going to get our top five as long as we don't get wrecked. Alright, here we go, man. Going green now. So we've got to be cautious but also aggressive at the same time. Stuff the car just grips like nothing else. The right, really. Point eight, still one of the low line, but so I still do something down there that I just can't get my car to work in. Working high, working well up top, so might as well stick with what we know. Just 
just missed the tacky stuff that time. I slow us down a fair bit. Much hitting the cushion there, right up against the wall. Right rear. And just tagged the right rear of the wall pretty good. Got a few clean laps in here, I reckon we could have got the 14, but it's going to be a bit of a struggle now, I think. So if we get a good clean next lap, it might go close to 3 and 4. Good we'll run around the outside, get the power down, get a run on him on the outside. We have. Moves up the fourth spot. Even third spot, Terry might have run out of fuel. Say so he has, he's run out of fuel. So we've got 2.6 gallons left. So I might take one gallon out, but that's about it because. Yeah, we made it, guys. Third spot. That is an absolutely awesome result. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. If you did, as always, smash that like button. Hadn't subscribed yet, so make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little bell next to it, tick the notifications, so that way every time I upload you'll get a notification whether it's on your phone or on your computer or your tablet, whatever, you know, you see you won't miss a video. So that's been Brito's Gaming, thanks for watching, see you again soon.